everyone, so this video is going to be about healthy eating on a budget because one of the most common reasons that people claim that they don't eat healthily is because they can't afford it. And personally, I don't think that's true at all. I don't think that it costs any more to eat on a budget. In fact, I think it probably costs a little bit more to eat not as healthily because um, junk food is so inexpensive these days compared to you know fresh vegetables and things like that so I definitely don't think that's true but it's something that a lot of people do say that um, they experience so I'm gonna talk you through kind of tips that I've found work to help try and um, do it but still do it on a budget and the first thing is to buy what's in season this is a really common um, you know tip but basically if you're buying things that aren't in season so for example at the mo at the moment strawberries aren't in season strawberries are always in season in the summer therefore they'll be cheaper in the summer if you buy them now they're fairly expensive so um but then if you think about things like you know um i don't know what's in season now i can't think of anything off the off the top of my head now but during the kind of christmas period things like butternut squash and that kind of thing that are in season so if you buy them then they're much cheaper and then you kind of get better value for money as well because the portions of the fruit and vegetables tend to be bigger. Another tip that I find is to not buy any ready um, made sauces and ready meals in general just aren't very good for you and they tend to be quite um, pricey. So if you're buying a jar of Dormio sauce you could just as easily for less than the cost of that buy a can of chopped tomatoes. These are my favourite, they're the Napoli, is it Napoliana? Um, it's not Napoliana. What are they called? Napolina. I don't know. Whatever. Italian. Blah. Um, chopped tomatoes. If you buy a can of chopped tomatoes, some garlic, some onion, sauté the garlic and onion, add the chopped tomatoes, add some dried herbs, and there you go. It's a pasta sauce that's ready in about 15 minutes. So much healthier for you. You've got no preservatives. If you read the back of um, canned tomatoes you'll see that all they have in them is 70% chopped tomatoes, tomato juice and citric acid. Citric acid is just to prevent it from going off and be kind of you know have a longer shelf life. But super super cheap, super delicious as well and you're saving yourself a bunch of money instead of buying ready-made sauces. Another thing that I find really really helpful is to buy a lot of fruit. Now I love fruits like pineapples and pineapples are really inexpensive. They're a pound, you get a big giant pineapple but once you've opened a pineapple it tends to go off very quickly and then you end up wasting it and I absolutely detest wasting food. Um, I just, I don't know what it is, but it really, really annoys me. And my boyfriend wastes a lot of food. If there's something he doesn't feel like eating or he's forgotten, he can just easily throw it in the bin. Whereas I'll have like guilt issues over the fact that I've th thrown food in the bin. And it's not because I grew up sort of in a house where, you know, every morsel of food was important because we always had more than enough. It's just, I don't know, I just sort of feel like I'm just throwing money in the bin and that I hate. But I'll buy a big pineapple, which tends to be a pound in most supermarkets. I'll open it up. I'll eat um, one portion on the day I've opened it, one portion the next day. And then the rest of it, I'll chop into small pieces and freeze. I'll just pop it into a freezer bag and freeze it. And then you've got kind of healthy snacks stashed away in the freezer, which you can defrost or you can eat them frozen. They're yummy frozen. Or you could um, kind of put them into a smoothie or something like that. And you've saved yourself, you know, loads of of it because it's so much cheaper to buy a pineapple that way whereas when you buy them in those little pre-packaged um, little tiny pots they're pretty much the same price as buying a whole big pineapple and you get more out of it. Another thing that I love doing is buying things like dried pulses. These are yellow split peas and buying a big pot, um, a big bag of these cooking them with whatever other vegetables you want to make a soup, make a big batch of it and then save half for like the next two, three days and then another half I put in the freezer. And that m means you've also got convenient food that's kind of in there, stashed away that you can just get out and defrost um, when you need it and it's really handy and it'll save you from buying ready-made soups which tend to have, you know, like added cream and added salt and that kind of thing in them. Then another thing that um, a lot of people 
talk about is how expensive meat is. Now I personally didn't really ever experience this because I don't eat meat or fish, but my boyfriend eats tons and tons of meat and um, it is expensive, it's, it's very expensive. So if you can try and cut back on meat, then do, but I definitely find that um, buying frozen meat is cheaper. So frozen chicken breasts, um, you may want to stay clear of burgers and um, mincemeat for a little while. Um, for those of you who aren't in the UK, there's a little bit of a scandal going on at the moment about there being horse meat in um, food. So yeah, I that really, really irks me. I mean, it's not the fact that it's horse meat because I don't think horse meat's any different to cow's meat, but the fact that you don't know what's in it just irks me and I'm glad I don't eat meat. Um, but yeah, if you buy frozen chicken breasts, frozen um, tuna steaks, things like that, canned tuna, those are all really great sources of protein that aren't too expensive. And don't forget that there are vegetarian sources of protein as well that are much cheaper, so things like canned beans and eggs, really healthy, really high in protein, um, beans are really high in fibre as well. Half a can of drained beans has only got 95 calories in, really, really good for you and really cheap as well. Then another thing that I like to do is to always um, buy frozen berries. Berries are expensive to me. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and that kind of thing. You get a really tiny portion and they're really expensive for how much you get. So I buy frozen raspberries and these are just by a brand called Country Store. And I just buy them frozen and then defrost them as I need them or sometimes I just eat them frozen. They're really delicious eaten just like that. <laughs> Sorry. And um, they can really, really help cut the cost down because if you imagine a box that size is about £1.50 and then a small tub of raspberries is £2. So it's only 50p, but you know, things like that really do add up. Um, I've just written down a few more things. What else have we got? Um, branding. Now this is a fairly controversial topic, I know, because I know a lot of people like to buy the brands they know, and with certain things, I will only buy the brands I know. So cereal, I will only buy Kellogg's All Brand. Um, mayonnaise has to be Hellman's. Ketchup has to be Heinz. But I have tried other brands. But when it comes to things like baked beans and... Um, what else? Baked beans, I always buy the kind of everyday ones. Bread, I buy the supermarket's own version because I feel like there isn't really that much difference. I kind of like to just um, buy whole grain bread and it doesn't really matter to me which one it is. And they definitely, definitely cost, cut the cost down because if you buy kind of Hovis bread, it's about £1.30 something. If you buy Tesco's own, it can be like 60p. So that really does make a difference and um, I definitely think that buying in bulk when you need to, so buying you know, like a big bag of dried um, peas and making a big batch of soup is really economical and it saves you from having to do it later on in the week which let's face it, you know, I'd rather cook it all in one go once than have to do it a few times during the week and I'm someone who if I'm making something, so tonight for example I'm making um, bulgar wheat with sautéed onions and courgettes and balsamic vinegar so I will make a bigger portion of that and then just have it in the fridge so I can eat it tomorrow or the next day so I always kind of make more than I need and then just have it for the next few days I know sometimes you can be tempted to pick but um, I don't tend to do that I tend to kind of be okay about doing it that way but those are my kind of top little tips for eating healthily on a budget I know that they're absolutely common sense I'm sure a lot of you knew them but I think that some of them are really um, handy to know so like you know about the different sources of protein and buying fresh fruits and freezing it it's really really important so I hope that helped you and um, if you've got any tips about eating well on a budget then definitely definitely put them in the comments below I'd love to read them as I'm sure everybody else would and um, yeah I hope you'll have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye